Hello, this is Falterfire. I am recording this for uh, the benefit of anybody who decides to watch this later, since I think um, there may not be anybody that tunes into the stream itself. Uh, the plan here is to play at least one run with a randomly generated deck. Um, the way that this works is that I set up a function on the wiki to allow me to randomly generate decks that have... Um, they obey the, the correct rules for how um, what cards can be included in the starting deck in the pool. They consist of any cards that are in the generic. They're generic cards or cards for that character. Uh, they always have nine epic cards. They always have um, at least four mana cards in the starting deck and at least five non-epic mana cards in the card pool because I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't just die. Uh, so... that's what's going to happen and I may be uh, more sporadically commentary than normal if I end up talking to people on the discord simultaneously so with all that said uh, let's get into it so uh, I am going to be going with uh, Katon to begin with because I feel like if any character can win with a random uh, with a random stack of cards, it's Katon. So new deck, <clears throat> random deck. Okay, so that worked properly. I, I wasn't. This is my first time actually testing to make sure that my imports actually work, and it's good to see that they do. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the game, and then I will look over the deck once I am in the in the thick of things. So we start with purity, which is nice. So our initial deck, our mana cards are two shifting focus, one resolute focus, um, one focus, and then we ha our ways still damage are piercing strike and shocking beam and adaptive defense if we are in spell stance. So one thing that I didn't um, I didn't do when setting this this uh, thing up is that it does not guarantee you get at least one spell or at least one strike. On average, one of your eight or one of your yeah eight non mana cards should theoretically deal damage. Oh, you can have more than four mana cards uh, in a random deck. It just only guarantees you four. Um, anyway, the point being, we will see what happens. Uh, so I don't think we have any ways. So we can get wits off of this. That's our only way to get wits. So I don't think we want that. I think we just take... I don't love predict normally on Katon because I tend to play quicker decks. Or more aggressive strategies. Picking up vulnerable is okay. Um, we don't have any ways to play vulnerable right now. So it's either the predict or the sunder. I think we will take the sunder. And then we will take uh, pirate hook because pirate hook is just very good. All right, so normally with Katon, I would happily go after the Fire Elemental. But here I think we would rather have two Evade bots. And then that gives us a bunch of events, which could be valuable. So <clears throat> one of the challenges here is that um, I have this amazing um, Resolute Focus, which I can't easily use. Well, I got to use that, so that's nice. Great. Very useful. Let's, um, two growth doesn't seem super useful, but the Wits does. I could have also applied Vulnerable, that doesn't seem unreasonable. But, let's see mana. Nope. Let's do that. Yeah, this is definitely a rather awkward stack of cards. Probably shouldn't be bothering with um, playing the uh, the overcharged. I guess it's that first kill. So we've made it out of fight one. 
Not too bad. It's like another card that does damage. Alright. So we are pretty reliant on this uh, Shocking Beam here. I don't think there's any chance that we end up playing both, but go ahead and do that. And get a slight cost reduction on that, which is nice. Unfortunately, we weren't shocked because we had this purity from our starting trinket. Unfortunately, this is only going to give us evasion. This isn't going to give us um, the thing we want. Because we are in a strike stance. Although that Frost Barrier will actually come in handy here in a moment, potentially. Let's do that. And now, we can actually do some damage. Thanks to that Vulnerable, that's why we were able to get that uh, Freeze off. So we can freeze with ourselves here, which is fine. Oh, we, we have purity still. Derp. And now we get this go. So yeah, mana is definitely an issue, but that helps a bit. Hoping to get, I'm part of why I haven't rerolled is that I, I'm hoping to reroll um, for mana dances against these things. And then I think I'm going to just apply Shock. I could have picked up a stack of Evade there if I wanted to, but I don't think that is as valuable. So I can do this, which will do a bunch of damage to this friend, or I can potentially play this twice. But I like the idea of... I could do this. Actually, let's do that. Which lets me do that. Do that. Seems okay. Not amazing, but okay. Good. I'll stop. The important thing about what I did last turn is that I was able to stop um, whatever from happening. I was able to stop more evasion from coming out. I don't really need to play that thunder. We will take some damage here, which is unfortunate. But yeah, the man wisp is definitely a problem though, because there's we did, we cannot save mana against it, and so because we have so little mana, uh, not being able to save any is not amazing. Do that. So I can play this, which will actually get me to extra mana for turn, which is why I was willing to do it. So now I get three mana each turn, which helps a little bit. I can pick up, I can freeze you, and focus. Go do that. Obviously it would be my preference not to take all this damage, but can't always get what you want. Well, there's a mana dance. I'm happy to see that. Okay, we'll go ahead and use a rest and cut, um, I think the overcharge. We have the shocking beam. I don't love the shocking beam, but like we have so few damage cards. And I think the overcharge is probably the card I want to get rid of most. So we're actually fine with either of the cards that this thing drops. Um, we're less fine with this guy just existing. That's, uh, that's a problem. we do at least get to do some damage. And we do get, we're, we're getting guaranteed crits courtesy of, um, in fact, we had critical from uh, 
the shifting focus that we started with, and then we had uh, their volt, their ambush, so we were able to get 100% crit chance from that, which is very nice. So we can go womp womp, play this, which will let us resolute focus. We use that to kill. Useful. Does that get us a kill? Yes. So yeah, that second one went a lot better. Question is, do I try and re-roll to get another mana dance? I think I will. I think having more mana dances is just good for us. I also think I like starting with more evasion ranks. And I think I like... Let's see, what does this do when upgraded? Still only... We need... We need better damage cards at some point. Um, I think I like upgrading the mana dance. I don't actually know offhand what the uh, adapt adaptative defense plus does, uh, which I should have checked because if it creates two visible uh, butts, then I'm a lot more interested. So we do have a bunch of purity up front, which is nice because it means that we get to um, avoid um, some of this nonsense. I'm going to go ahead and use this because. Uh, Oh, right, we have so many evades. I was thinking our period was all going to get used up by this in Venom, but I forgot that we have infinite evades. Which. Let's go ahead and start freezing. We want to actually get the freeze, but. Oh, right, we have Frost Barrier. Yeah, this deck is full of lovely surprises. I've been. I've been very happy with some of the surprises that have come out so far. Um. So one of the advantages to the way that the that the Envenom works, though, is it does give us. Um, like we, we weren't able to actually use them, but every time we get hit, we get vengeance stacks, which is funny and potentially quite useful. So we'll take critical. We will do damage. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Yeah, th that first fight was really rough, but since then, I think I do actually like this peace of mind. I like being able to pick up purity. Um, there's an argument to be made that we should have taken the other one uh, to get the damage, but does this make two? No, if this made two quick blasts, I would absolutely take this upgrade. It does go down to, to costing two, though, which is, I think it makes eight shield, which is actually very relevant, so that may actually still be worth it. Uh, this goes to just more tough, more sturdy, more frost barrier. Sunder plus is not, Sunder is probably what we're going to cut. We have just, feels like we, we just always have infinite vulnerable because we have uh, this and we have that so uh, what does that do it's 13 13 that's not good enough that's not awful this is tempting because that makes it valuable in boss fights that's not that this upgrading though does mean that we only need to play it twice in order to get to um in order to get to growth six which is obviously a relevant breakpoint but uh i think if i was going to do it for mana i just upgrade the mana dance Think that the upgrade here is the adaptive defense because I think the extra shield in the cheaper cost on it is worth it. And then I'm going to cut, as I said, this under. And then I don't think I care about any of the monster cards here necessarily. Uh, and we don't have any elite fights, so I'm just going to see what we can get here. Oh, well, monster cards it is. Uh, Delicious. I do appreciate that we went evade. We went purity, purity, evade, evade, purity. It's a very good, very good sequence of events. I'm very happy with that. We did have enough heals that it was worth it, I think. And we can go. This will get us. 
a quick blast, which we can copy by using it. And the reason we get to copy it by using it is that um, Adon still has his passive. And then we can make ourselves harder to kill. Wasn't paying attention. I think I could have gotten off um, the shocking beam there, which would have killed the front dork, which I should have done. Oh, whoops, I, I sequenced that wrong. Um, I should have uh, gotten the frail first because I don't really care about that. And now we are poisoned, which I care more about. I think this is actually my first thing of the turn. going pretty well. That's just too expensive. Um, I don't think we want a six mana spell. I don't love patient focus either, but I'll take it over a spell I don't think we can cast. We'll take scroll of recall. I think we might take the uh, mighty punch card that these guys drop. Uh, I cannot get to, because one of my, my checks is always, can I get to zero mana for that? And the answer is no. We can get even more evasion and some tough, and we still have enough purity at least to block uh, the frail and the leech off of this friendo. Because fun fact on munch rooms: one down arrow means poison, two means leech and frail, which is obviously uh, usually the more dangerous of the two. Right, so. Do now have adept, which means that we get more freeze. There's just no way that this ends up being the last card in hand, which is unfortunate, but also unfortunately we can't get to exactly zero. We did get to evade all those attacks, which was funny. I should have paid attention to how much mana I had at the beginning of turn to see if I could have uh, evaded. Let's freeze you, because I can't. Play that into Resolute Focus. And we do have... Um, the thing that we need, we do have critical, so we get guaranteed crits, which are delicious. We do that. Yeah, so page, like we're never. So yeah, our damage output is pretty good, actually. Uh, such a weird card pool. I guess we take an adaptative defense. Like, I don't. I'm still just not slow on cursed spores. It does have the benefit of stripping my purity which, on enemies, which is nice, and it's like technically some damage. Uh, but, yeah. I suppose it can be... Usually, the way that um, we will try to strip purity away is um, that we will just have... Um, I don't actually have to play this, but if I do, then I can get the man out of that, and, it, you know, the end of infinite extra mana. So normally though that we strip away purity with Katons, we would just get temporary cards, and then that would trigger burn, and so then every time we play a temporary or removed card, we remove a stack of burn. We we um functionally remove a stack of who's and what from all enemies. So but that is not an option here. So we are going to So what I would like to do is use this, but that's plus five, and then oh no, okay, so we're good. So we do that. Which, we're going to play this, and then we're going to play the copy that we get. And we're going to play that. And that worked out pretty nicely. 
we are going to get um, uh, arcane twice here, which is unfortunate, but. Should have played that first so that I could get uh, the healing, but we're going to get healing off of this anyway, so maybe not a huge deal. So the advantage here is when we play the second copy, this should kill, which should get us a treasure, which is nice. And then play that into that. And we actually freeze. And I can freeze myself, which is funny. Now I get blown up. Yeah, it turns out building uh, growth is pretty difficult when you already don't have a ton of whatever to work with, and then you're getting uh, when you don't have a ton of growth, and then you're also getting um, arcane blasted. I can just play this twice because that gets me a kill. Another advantage that we have going for us right now is that we are just stacking up a ridiculous amount of, um... Oh, I thought it was going to be able to do a little bit more damage there, whatever. Um, we are stacking up a ridiculous amount of extra shield and evades, courtesy of everything we got going on. So, that's not a bad thing. This is definitely, um... Not my normal style of Katon deck, to put it mildly. But we haven't lost any health, and we just got the kill, so... What else can you ask for? Um... That's... that's awkward. A little bit. Normally this would be solid on Katon, but... We don't have any ways to get... But like, Curse of the Forest seems worse, even with, um, I still think this should be called a weak in the woods, because, I mean, it used to give Cursed, but now it gives weak, so name should change. You know, I think if Fire Master is the play, uh, Fire Master means that if we ever do apply Burn, we get a bonus, and this just does damage, which we kind of need. Uh, we will take this over, all lovely? Surely, surely this has to be better than that. If I upgrade that, it goes to powerful three per burning enemy, and then it goes to f and mighty two. Does extra damage. That seems okay. Um, it's basically that or more mana. Always, always with the more mana. What am I cutting? I think I'm cutting the chill. Well, the chill's done okay. Maybe it's, maybe it's patient focus. Maybe it's the adaptative defense. I kind of like that. Shocking Beam is very expensive. The fact that we now have the Fire Mastery makes the Shocking Beam less tempting. Um, the problem is, like, every time I play it, it, it eats all my mana, which I don't love. So, I could regret that. I, cutting cutting things that deal damage is almost certainly incorrect. If I was smart, I would be planning around, like, which monster cards, which monsters are going to drop damaging cards that help me. But I am not a thinky man, so I do definitely want Elemental Strike. I don't think I want either of these cards, but I do want to get the Elite rewards, so I think I'd rather go this run than I like these these more than I like those. Although the Bleed Powerful card is very tempting just because I now have um, 
Also, I don't know how, how effective they'll be able to fight Drakes. But the, the bleed, because I have Purity, the Bleed Powerful card is actually pretty good. I could plan to upgrade... Um, So we get um, Arcane here, but then we um, Purity. This is interesting. So first we can get the guaranteed crits, but uh, I could copy this with that, but might as well get the freeze. So they will freeze themselves against the shield. This one's going to freeze itself against the shield, which is, which is funny. Oh no, because we evaded the first two hits, so it didn't. Whoops. I'm just, I'm just too good at... I should have done that, because now I'm going to actually have to eat a... Um, yeah, one of those. I'm going to end up beating Arcane proc here and just being... Just living with it. Yeah, this thing's okay. Just narrowly about uh, narrowly dodge getting with arcane proc hitting us. Although we can't dodge this one, um, and we're out of purity. But Boop. didn't lose much of importance. I'd say this is going well. It's a good thing nobody joined chat because I was not watching Discord to see if anybody said anything. Um, do we take the Gathering Bolt? It seems okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And then we're hoping to take a couple cards we'd love to have from this guy. I'll start with that. And then... Hmm. So that would let me use this, but... Is that worth it? Sure. Is that worth it? Probably not. So this lets me set on fire and then I have purity stack to deal with those. So I think I'm fine with saving the, the chill freeze for later. We do not have any evade, which is unfortunate, but we kind of get to make up for it like that. We get to evade some hits, because we just have a bunch of extra evade. So yeah, getting out damage is a bit of a problem, but actually winning fights really isn't, and that's what we're really looking for because this gives us powerful stacks, which is always kind of handy. 
and because we can use it, um, copy those, I guess. Maybe I should have copied that because I don't think I'm going to have enough mana to use everything. Start with that. We have to be able to apply some decent amount of fire at the cost of taking some decent amount of damage. Although I do not at all hate that we managed to get out um, Did we get the right amount of mana? Yeah, because we got two back from the quick plot. That was what's going on there. Unfortunately, I don't think we could have sequenced that differently because we needed all that mana for the... It looks like we could have, but I, I don't believe that we actually would have been able to get everything out if we had tried to... That. And then... Freeze. Boom. Uh, we have enough evades, and we would only be... I'm considering uh, killing a turn. Oh, no, because it's going to die to burn anyway. So we'll do that. I'm trying to see if we get it in heals. All right, Power Blast is very nice. That's a way to actually deal kill. That, that's a way to actually kill things. Um, I'll just take additional shield. Seems okay. I would take a cornered focus if, if one was offered. Um, let's see. I think I just work on killing this jerk. So. Hmm. I'm trying to think through um, the best way to do this. I'm going to do that now. Which is going to unfortunately eat my purity stacks. But it means that I get to do this. Which was the goal. I can surprise attack and get the skills. And go for mana. So we got a, we, we killed one of our enemies, and the other one is at least uh, burning and out of evades. So I'll take that. We, on the other hand, are not out of evades. Copy those. Right. Um, that's actually very useful to us because we have the um, The, the card, the Fire Mastery. This is very good with Fire Mastery. Although, obviously, against one enemy, there's only so much you can get out of it. Respectful amount of damage. Um, trying to think if we can, if we want to try and copy anything. I think not. I think we do this. Then let's us do that. And then. So I get to guarantee crits, which is always fun. Copy these two. Not because I plan to play the peace of mind, but because I want to be able to get out while well, I have guaranteed crits. Uh, get out there. Go ahead and do that. I'm only going to evade one of these hits, but overall, a solid turn, I think. So, we can do this, which will get us a quick blast, which I'm going to find first. We're still getting guaranteed crits, which is always nice. We can go ahead and do that.
Alright. And we even got the car we wanted, which is always bonus value. These are both pretty good. It's actually hard to say which one I want more. Extra mana or extra spell damage. I think extra spell damage at this point. We upgrade. I like that upgrade. I like this upgrade a lot. Um, I also like um, this upgrade because it gets us two powerful instead of just one. And we aren't really concerned about the bleed. So we can upgrade that. We remove. Maybe the frozen hide. It does give us tough though, and tough is pretty valuable. It may also be the chill. It could also be the moonlit reverie. Um, yeah, the moonlit reverie keeps eating our purity stacks, and we have better things we would rather be spending our purity stacks on. think we need four no we cannot get a uh, patient focus off yeah patient focus like I, I expected to be a bad card and it turns out it's a bad card but we can at least do this which is going to do a decent amount of damage and then I do think we want to be tough and I think we can freeze either one of these two uh, because we don't have any evades I think we want to freeze this guy Although the buffs that this hands out will go to everyone, but um. we could copy this. Does that get us guaranteed kills on or fifty percent to crit? We get we get a, a copy of it anyway, so. Actually, copy these because we can go pom pom. Because the important thing here is that this means that we get an extra turn of our not crit, of our um, elemental rune. left and the elite is this is the only elite in that where you you just don't care about having to fight this elite specifically you know normally the elite is the problem in the the fight but in this case awful. It does fit kind of with all of our themes. I don't hate having the aftershocks. Um, I don't love the amount of mana this costs. I don't love the amount of mana that costs, but I think that's better still. And then I think we cut... I think the, the gathering bolt is a little too awkward. It is funny to me that both of these drop fire cards and we just don't want either of them because both of the fire cards they drop suck. So they're just bad. Oh, let's play that. So the reason I'm sequencing things the way I am is I want to be able to get a mighty stack. Oh, we definitely need to upgrade the elemental strike because I'm going to be copying it a bunch. And so getting that, that third hit means that with the third hit and the copying, it will consistently be able to um, do the stuff we actually want it to do. Sorry, my brain, as usual, has just decided that it is done for now. Uh, we don't really care about being on fire when trying to think through, like, whether or not we want to get that up. Um, so that 
will let us use that. So the question is, do we want to try and get off the kill against um, this before it hacks? I think we, we want to try. I think that is valuable enough to us. Um... my purity there, but... Oh, F. I wasn't paying attention. That would have been very good because that got us... Because um, we had the elemental strike bonus still going, we would have gotten real value. This should still do enough damage to kill that, though. So, you know, that's nifty. Uh, we still have critical. Guy got a lot of damage. Oh, because we all those powerful stacks from uh, the Burning Mastery X2. That's why we were able to do so much. Unfortunately, we didn't have lethal there. Um, and we have one more chance to draw into lethal. Uh, which... We get it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> Wasn't paying attention because we did less damage because uh, we weren't in strike stance for the second round. Which is why we didn't get um, as much damage that time. I was not thinking. It doesn't matter. We we've got six of eight stacks. We get to evade all these anyway. Um, yeah, because, like, I suppose that's... I just don't like having to discard two, but... We'll take it and see what happens. I cut the chill at this point, I think. It's not bad, but it's not completely on theme for us, and, like, freezing bosses isn't the easiest thing. I would love additional ways to draw cards. <clears throat> One of our things right now is that our deck doesn't have uh, any ways to draw cards outside of... Um, or, sorry, doesn't have any trinkets that draw cards. So we don't have any cards that draw cards either. That's definitely a thing overall that I would like. Um, so I definitely don't want to copy that. So I think I'm actually going to discard these two. And then take some damage, unfortunately. Probably have to plan that better. But what are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. The answer is take damage. <laughs> uh, what do I copy? Trying to figure out how I get to exactly zero. Because it looks like I almost am there, but I'm actually not. Okay, so this actually gets me there. So I get to do that, and I can swap there. Which then lets me do that. <laughs> I was so close to having patient focus actually get me, but I was going to play that anyway, so I wasn't actually going to, but it was funny to me that. One time patient focus looked like it was about to do its thing. Surprise attack. Chunk him. Cornered focus, I'm happy to have. Uh, these are both reasonable. I think I like the this more just because like it's not fighting with anything we have. So one advantage we have here is that we do get to just, like, not take any damage up front, which is always nice. Um. I 
And once again, like this basic focus looks like it's about to go off. But is it? No. Uh, let's do that. Do that. We actually managed to go off with it. We have to evade all these hits. We get to still not be set on fire. Um. The question is, do I want to try and get this out of my deck? I think I'm fine with doing that. God, I love taking zero damage from bosses. I love when they attack me for zero whole damage. So unfortunately, um, this is, is very painful right now uh, because we do not have... Um, But I can do this one, which is fine. Eight damage burn, doing pretty good work against strikes. Uh, I think I want to get this heal off. Yeah, the Feed the Flames is not. I'm not super impressed. It just like we just don't have. If we had card draw, maybe, but we don't. So, so I think that has to go. Uh, consuming race seems to get royal coffers, and then upgrading that makes sense because that just gives us a way to draw any cards. Um, I think we still don't want the feed of the limbs though. So now that we're in area three, we get to actually get good cards from monsters, which is great, and we can fight all of the uh, Bailator Hatchlings, which is also great. So, so our final boss is Bailator, which could be painful, but we have a bunch of Evade, which is very good against Bailator. So we got that going for us, which is nice. So the choice is that if we go, we need to do three Elites and fight the Watcher. The Watcher will, prob will probably be a harder fight, although we do have Pirate Hook, which is amazing against Watcher. Or we can fight the corrupted, uh, the the vessels of corruption, which means we only get one Bailator fight, but we get a shot at um, Dig Through Muck, which is very good. But then we also do a bunch more just trash fights. Actually, I suppose it's the same number of trash fights because we're not hitting events either way. Um, but if we go this way, the fact that that gives, gives us two Bailator fight, Bailator hatch, because like. Both of these are going to give us an excellent card, and knowing that up front is worth a lot. I don't like dealing with these jack wagons, but if we're not going to be turn wanting them, it's fine. Hey, we can get. Um, I like seeing these because they drop Hunter's Focus, which is very good, and we like to see that. So I think I will actually copy our cards because I can do that. And that. And that. So we can get another stack of purity. Start by seeing what all we're going to get out of that. Glad we did that. And now we can nuke that so we don't have that problem. Um, there's an argument to be made that, that the correct play was to um, kill. Um, Kill something and get these treasures before I got um, whatever set up, but hmm. Okay, that's got a very good chance of getting me mana. Yeah, and now this one is guaranteed to be positive mana, so. And then we still have just a delightful amount of. Um, we don't have guaranteed crits. We would if we had played that, but then I wouldn't have enough mana to play this. So 
get kills. Hunter's focus, that's what I was hoping to get. Uh, this isn't actually good for us because we want to keep the burn on the enemies and we don't apply enough to consistently use it. So I think we're actually going to discard this. Pay later hatchlings. Hatchling, singular. Just the one. Um. I'm going to pause this recording real quick to deal with something. Um, again, for you guys, I don't know why I mentioned it. Bye. All right. Um, and now I'm back, which, again, for you was not even really a pause. Um, so we can go Elemental Strike. Power Blast. Elemental Strike. Uh, bonus damage. Play that. Play that. We get to pay the bail later, which is nice. Security continues to be great. Now we can get more purity to go with this. Copy these so we can get out as much damage as possible here. And that's lethal. We're having this intent. Our chain belt seems good. You're now at like. Um, Oh, is that shield per card? No, that's only max shield. Yeah, both of these are just max shield minus. That's totally fine. Uh, we are at 14 max shield because our max shield is also increased by something, I swear. Oh, this. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah, I think we just keep going this way. Just killing Bailators is very good for value. Is very good value. Is there a way for us to get... Oh, yeah, because this is going to still cost one because this is cheaper because of... Um, I'm used to this not being that cheap. And we have so much story that it doesn't matter that our max shield is down. Need that. I copied that, I probably could have gotten a kill on the bay later this turn, but I wasn't sure and I didn't want to burn the duplicate home if I wasn't going to. And we get a phrase for bonus value. Ta -da. I'm curious how this will go when I play when I'm playing characters that aren't um, Katon. Uh, uh, Maybe patient focus goes, maybe the adaptative defense goes. One of the two, definitely. The adaptative defense, I think, just because patient focus is still mana, and probably I cut it here.
Um, drawing extra cards is always nice. Um, no, I just do that. I was considering copying it, but. Look at that. We actually got the patient focus mana. Copy those. We have three purity, so we can do that. And that. Not a bad turn one, turn two, I guess. Yeah, turn one was nothing to write home about, but that was much better. Again, because the fact that we can chain off these summons uh, is just incredibly valuable. Uh, yeah, sorry that. Uh, I don't really want to give up. Well, I guess I'm going to be playing this anyway. After this summon. We are now going to take probably like one stack of cur oh, week. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I don't think it's going to matter. Normally I'd play this first, but I think that gets me a kill. Okay, just gets me close. And I guess we can the other two. Unbug. Yeah, sure, I'll take a Mystic Shadow Blast. I don't care if I can cast it. I'm taking it. Um... I, this over that might make sense now, but, and this also kind of makes sense because how many strikes do we have? Not many. We only have like the piercing strike, which is, is very medium. We do have the elemental strike though. And like that makes the elemental strike much, much better at freezing things. And we don't really care about, yeah, this, this seems okay. And we upgrade this still, um, so we can get four X three. Let me remove, um, again, the piercing strike is tempting. I think it's the patient focus. It may also be, may also be the frozen hide because we aren't, you're doing a lot better just outputting damage immediately. I don't remember what the other card that we can get off of the, um, the boon stalkers is. That is actually a possible card we could take. I don't hate copying these two because that just gives us a bunch of card draw this turn. Boop. And now we are good to just play out all of our stuff. Oh man, we can Mystic Shadow Blast twice. This is what skill is. Skill is playing Mystic Shadow Blast multiple times in one turn. Um, a Chivo, not Chivo, uh, quest. Yeah, I think this deck may have come together slightly. It's just, just a hunch. I, I could be wrong. Yeah, so that'll draw those and this will draw mana. Also, probably draw me now. Oh, I'm dumb. I wasn't really paying enough attention. There were two out of three cards that were not mana. Um, if I can do that, I can do that. That's me. I'm gonna evade these hits because I've got a million stacks of evade. You go through our entire deck in one turn. I would say everything is going great. Um, this is actually a lot more tempting now that we've got um, the one minus one cost on it. This is also pretty okay. Uh, the Aftershocks draws pretty well the powerful we've got. I probably still cut it. Um, so the question is, I don't remember what the other card these guys drop is. I know that one of them is the the focus card that's worth a good amount of mana, which is tempting. But 
I don't really care about. Uh, okay, it's it's boar, which is a, a high damage. Well, it's a high damage strike up front. It's like 14x2. It's not awful. But God, Hungry Focus is so good. Dark Focus is also very good. They're both very good. We're just going to go left. I can't betray my precious Baylor's now. The other thing is like, the reason we've gone after the, the Shadowbone Stalker is there's a very, there is a not unreasonable chance that I don't actually get the thing that I want out of um, fighting the um, the Bailators because it is possible for them to drop a different thing. Um, although I do get do that. and then they steal all my mana. Work sorting. My my patient focus. These jerks. And now we can draw some after draws. Um there we go. We can take a little bit of damage there. Mana. Um, I could get more purity, or I could just... Dumpsters. Uh, Bane's not amazing at this point, but I don't really feel like re-rolling it. Um, see drop. Okay. Um, I don't hate playing that, but... Uh, I, I can't play this and then get to zero for that. So do that, do that. Play that, that. At this point, there's no point in not just playing out the hand. And we have evade stocks for these, for that jerk. And now, I think I copy that and that. How do I play this out in terms of mana? Start with that. Oh, I can use that. That's how I do it. Because I want to be able to get down to um, zero. So I get that. And because I'm a reasonable person, I went to Mystic Shadow Blast again. Love Club Storm in here. I will settle for evading both of these hits and then just laughing. Um. Alright, so I get a kill for free. God, Katon is a fair character. And I'll take another hunger and focus. And I don't think we want any of this. So I guess we just re-roll. Yeah. Um none of that. Now we absolutely want this over that. Because we are. We have one more fight. And like the treasure hook would have been nice here, but it's not gonna be anything for the final fight, and so I may as well replace it with something that will do something. Uh I think it's cost me card. I think I get mana here. Play that. So that gets me Vengeance, which is handy. Uh, do that to get that set up. But you are burning to death. False. 
God. There's just... I just can't explain what it feels like to be playing this fair of a character. Uh, doing this fair of things with it. It just... Words cannot express how good it feels to be playing fairly in a fair game. Uh, yeah. Okay. And now we are removing... All right, patient focus, your time has come. Um, Piercing strike. Invigorate. Uh, the hunting prince can stay. I think the reverberation is solid enough. Hmm. The resolute focus is a maybe on cuts. Uh, I think I, leave, I think I like the focus enough to keep it. Um, the adaptative defense is okay enough. I may be at the point where I am just happy with the deck as it stands. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll just. The, I might cut the fi the fire mastery is kind of tempting to cut just because like it's much much worse in against a one enemy fight like it is it's just so much mana and i would rather be spending all my mana on drawing cards and mystic shadow blasts and then i think i'm fine with removing uh, at that point one of my shifting focuses all right here we go so we can copy these two I can do that into that. And can guarantee fit there. Apply 60 status in a single turn. Okay. I didn't reroll any quests because I was just lazy. And looks like we're going to get all of them anyway. I'm not going to play this because I want to burn the... Um, I want to burn the shocked on something as weak as... Um, I don't know if Rip, I'm going to get debuffed here. It's really sad. Really sad, that debuff. Well, this was a... Uh, Fair and reasonable stream, I would say. It's a shame nobody um, nobody ended up joining me, but that's fine. I, I don't need any of you. I'm completely fine on my own. And that's the run. Bye.